Yanis and Jimmy from Foles have uh, dropped over to say hello at Longitude. Look, guys, lovely to meet you. Um, uh, welcome back to Ireland as well. Um, Holy Fire is the current album. Um, a great album as well, but a difficult birth, a difficult one to record? Uh, no, not really, actually. I think the hardest thing was knowing when to stop and having to sort of cull material down into a, a digestible modern-day album. Was there ever the temptation to do a double album? <laughs> I don't uh, to... Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> there always there still is, is yeah. for the record. You worked with uh, Alan Mulder and Flood uh, on this particular album, um, who've worked with tons of people. Am I, would I be right in saying one of the albums that when I think of those producers that I always think of is uh, Melancholy and the, the Infinite Sadness? And I'm guessing by the, your, your age you'd probably be a fan of that album. Would that be a step too far? Yeah, no, we're definitely fans of that record. I mean, it was a bit before our time, but... Um I think, uh, I mean, I definitely remember listening to it on cassette, like on the way to school and stuff. Um, and just like the ambition of that record and the scope of it, um, and the imagination of it, I guess, is something that we like, we admire a lot. And it, yeah, def definitely a lot of the stuff that they'd worked on with big fans of, like Downward Spiral as well by Nine Inch Nails, Depeche Mode stuff. Like, there's a few yeah, U2 the, albums in there as well. Sh yeah, sure. And, yeah. Um, <laughs> but there's a. Uh, yeah, definitely. There's like a pe pedigree, and and when when they said that they wanted to work with us, we were pretty flattered. Yeah, Total Life Forever for me was like I'm not di not discounting your debut album by any stretch of the imagination, but Total Life Forever for me was a real statement that this band could be really really big. Did you feel that when you were recording it and subsequently released it? No, yeah. not really. Well, we didn't think we were going to be big when we were writing it. Quite the opposite, actually. But we were just, um, we were just hoping it was good, really. That's kind of the main thing. Yeah, I think we were just enjoying the highs and lows of, of properly getting involved in a studio experience for the first time, really. I mean, the first album's always... The songs are always pretty written. You played them for like a year before or two years. You know, they're like the first songs you, you wrote. So the second album, I think, is really interesting for bands because it's finally they have to write fresh material and then they get to explore in the studio, which for us was, was well, yeah, like I said, stressful, and but amazing at the same time. The last thing you did uh, was uh, the Remix EP. W was it difficult to kind of get... Uh, or there was, no, it wasn't an EP, but there has been a number of remixes. Yeah. Um, I think there was an EP, actually. Uh, no, but there wasn't. It was a collection of... Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. But um, uh, was it difficult to kind of give your stuff away cause, uh, and to someone to reconstruct it? Not, not really. I think we kind of enjoy it. We also... We we've learned to like not you know not uh, get over excited about the remixes. I think that they that it's intrinsically quite a weird thing. It's like um, sometimes they can be amazing and they, and and you hear it and you and it like really clicks. Other times it's just like looking in the back of a like looking at your the reflection in the back of a grubby spoon, um, and it can be a bit weird. Uh, but we don't we're not pressure like once the record's finished we're not really precious of it in that way. In fact, generally we we'd like to do more collaborations and more remixes it's just sometimes like you get remixes sent back and it feels like it like they just don't feel right sometimes but um but there's been some great ones in this record we, we're big fans of the the teed one um the corliss remix of late night's awesome tom vac remix is great there's a bunch of good ones the hot chip one's pretty pretty yeah, handy as well one, yeah well listen guys thanks a million for dropping over and best of luck a little bit later on cool, cool. thanks a lot thanks for having us